Are you okay? I'm sorry to trouble everybody again. Don't worry about that, but... Ow! What are you doing, Lloyd? Are you okay, Colette? Colette? What's wrong? Did it hurt? Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I just blinked out for a moment. Colette, let me see your hand. Huh? Why? Just show me. You're hurt. It must have happened when you fell. Look how much you're bleeding. But it doesn't hurt. What? Uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt that much. Colette, can I talk to you for a sec? What is it, Lloyd? I thought it'd be nice for us to talk just by ourselves. Sure. Here, it's hot coffee. Thanks. Hot, isn't it? Yeah, really hot. It's actually iced coffee. What? I had Genus make it cold. Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course it's cold. I lied. It's actually hot. I knew it! How long have you been like this? You can't feel anything at all, can you? That's not true! You're lying! When you fell earlier, you already couldn't feel anything, could you? Uh, well... But... Uh... You were bleeding like crazy, but you didn't even flinch when I squeezed your hand! I guess the secret's out. You haven't been eating lately, either. I eat? <laughs> Barely. You even started eating things you don't like. And that's not all. Have you been sleeping? Of course. <laughs> See, my eyes aren't red or anything. Stop lying to me. You always do that fake giggle when you lie. Th that's not true. Is it that hard for you to trust me? No, it's not like that. I just... I just didn't want anyone to worry. What's happening to you? I don't know. I don't know, but things first got strange when I released the fire seal. I suddenly didn't want to eat anything anymore. And even when I did, it didn't have any taste. No taste? I can't hold anything down when I force myself. So, I haven't been eating. I never get hungry. That's... that's... Then when I release the next seal, 
I stopped getting sleepy. I close my eyes, but I just can't sleep. I haven't slept at all since then. Then with this seal, I stopped feeling anything. Why? Why didn't you say anything? Well, I figured this is just what it means to become an angel. So I shouldn't let it get to me. This is what it means to become an angel? Not eating anymore? Not sleeping anymore? Not feeling anything anymore? But my eyes have actually gotten better. I can see really far away now. And my hearing too. I can hear even the faintest sounds really well. I can hear them so well that it's kind of painful sometimes. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was going on at all. I'm sorry. Please don't tell the others. Why? Well, I mean, we're all on this trip together and I want it to be fun. So, I don't want you to worry about it either, okay? You're so stupid. I'm sorry, Lloyd. Even though you're crying for me, and I'm happy, so happy I want to cry, but I can't anymore. I'm sorry. Badly wounded. Oh, it's you guys. If you want to finish me off, now's your chance. I don't have any strength left to fight. You're hurt badly. Professor, please! Heal her. I will. But first, I want you to tell me what happened here. It seems she has companions, and this may just be a trap to catch us off guard. Professor! <laughs> You're as devious as you look. Call me what you like. Take a look at this city. Everything's in ruin. The designs... invaded. 
What? Do you know about the human ranch northeast of here? The people of this city had been hiding some folks who escaped from the ranch. The designs found out about it. And not only was the entire population forced to go to the ranch, but the city was destroyed. So how were you injured? It's nothing. I was just a little clumsy. 